It's a cold, miserable, rainy day in Thornhill, but luckily for us today, we're at Bricks Napa Valley Grill and Wine Bar, where corporate executive chef Steve Sandiford is always keeping things warm and cozy. Let's go inside and meet the man in the kitchen. The man in the kitchen, Steve. Pleasure to meet you, brother. Thanks for letting us into your kitchen. Nice to meet you. Uh, right. Now, how do you how do you fit in with the uh, with the Thornhill uh, clientele? I mean, is there a specific menu that you'd like to follow? Is there specific dishes that you traditionally know that this area likes? What is your philosophy behind it? And where do you come in as far as a personal touch? The way the way the menus, the way we do our menus at Bricks is my philosophy is we myself, my executive chef Simon, yeah. we cook food basically that we would want to eat in a restaurant. Right. That's how we, we look at it. And we have an idea of what the clients will and won't order in this in this right. this, this neighborhood. We've been here long enough to know. But generally it's what would we eat. Yeah, and you're a very much a guy that likes to bring it back as far as old school is concerned, where sharing is encouraged. Yeah, and uh, and and you like to have people uh, kind of bring people together and have the beautiful, the yeah. beautiful experience yeah. at all times. We have a whole section on the menu that is um, called share plates. Okay, so it could be anywhere from five little lamb chops with like a Mong Mongolian style barbecue yeah. sauce to um, little barbecue duck sliders, so it's shredded duck right. on a little. Burger bun with right. uh, a little coleslaw and things like that. Country, bro. What do you got That's going the, for today? Like, what do we got going? Well, right now we got a few orders coming up. We it's have our kitchen. we have our grilled lamb chops. Right. We're doing our Miami short ribs. Okay. We have a mussels coming up. Uh, Ordering a tuna rare, one salmon, some roasted mushrooms, scallions, roast garlic puree, soy peas. Some Israeli couscous. Oh, couscous, yeah. Season it. A little salt, a little pepper. Yeah. Some chicken broth. And we just bring that up to the boil. The whole, this is kind of finished like a risotto. Okay. So as it cooks down, put a little bit of butter in there, make it nice and creamy, and it just sits on the plate. The you know, chef's got to do a lot of, boom, boom, boom. a lot of different things all at once well. Right. You know? Yeah. A nice hot pan. Just let that cook down. So this will make the sauce for the whole dish. Right. Just finish with a bit of butter at the end. Right. Green beans. Season it. Now you're not putting in a tomato or or, uh, or a green pea for the sake of it, but they no. work well together well, anyway. Yeah. Right? Traditionally, that is the niswa salad: tomatoes, green beans. Potatoes, olives, right. vegetables can develop more flavor. They're cooked. Yeah. And we keep them as fresh as possible, cook it at the last minute. I see. Nice that. and green. We have an emulsion of wasabi. And a reduction of soy sauce. Alright. Wasabi and soy. Consistency like risotto, nice yep. and creamy. Yep. Made its own sauce. Sit it on top. And again, that looks that looks like grilled steak. Yeah. It's tuna. <laughs> yeah. That looks and then we just garnish good. it with a few strips of we call it we call it chorizo bacon. So it's just chorizo sausage sliced paper thin, looks like and crisp up in the oven. Miso and pomery glazed salmon. Here comes the salmon right here. The pearl couscous, soybeans, mushrooms, and a wasabi and soy emulsion. That's fantastic. Texture, a white spicy, wine. sweet, all in one again. Yeah. A complete meal. Yeah. Fantastic. Steve Sandiford, thanks very much for your Thank time, you. brother. Thank Phenomenal you. stuff. We wish you, you all the best for another 21, 22, 25 years. Yeah. Hopefully, if I can make it. <laughs> thanks a lot.